The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. The wise warrior avoids the battle. If your enemy is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. Move swift as the wind and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be still as the mountain. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate foe too hard. Sweat more during peace bleed less during war. The general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. Keep your friends close, your enemies even closer. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. A wise general makes a point of foraging of the enemy. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Victory comes from finding opportunities in problems. Do not engage an enemy more powerful than you, and if it is unavoidable, and you do have to engage, then make sure you engage it on your terms, not on your enemy's terms. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy. The quality of decision is like the well-timed swoop of a falcon, which enables it to strike and destroy its victim. It is more important to outthink your enemy than to outfight him. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. For them to perceive the advantage of defeating the enemy, they must also have their rewards. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. 
When settled, make them move. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you. This will diminish his enthusiasm. The peak efficiency of knowledge and strategy is to make conflict unnecessary. He will win who prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. When envoys are sent with compliments in their mouths, it is a sign that the enemy wishes for a truce. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Energy may be likened to the bending of a crossbow, decision to the releasing of the trigger. Concentrate your energy and hoard your strength. If ignorant both of your enemy and yourself, you are certain to be in peril. The art of giving orders is not to try to rectify the minor blunders and not to be swayed by petty doubts. The height of strategy is to attack your opponent's strategy. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. The line between disorder and order lies in logistics. Leadership is a matter of intelligence, trustworthiness, humaneness, courage and sternness. Every animal with blood in its veins and horns on its head will fight when it is attacked. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. Great results can be achieved with small forces. All wars are won or lost before they are ever fought. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare.